So in this video, I'm gonna be replacing this porcelain lamp holder with this pull string and receptacle. The pull string is no longer working and uh, I have a new one here, so let's get into it. As far as the tools I'm gonna to be using, I purchased a new pull string fixture. I have a portable light to light up my area once I do kill the power to that circuit, a Phillips screwdriver, a voltage detector, and some needle nose pliers. So before starting any work on this fixture, I wanna make sure that there's no longer live power going to it, and I'm gonna do that by turning off my uh, circuit breakers. Before I do that, I'm gonna use something like a voltage detector that I have here to check. Uh, we'll check it now to make sure that it has power. So there is power currently going to this. Let's go switch it off on our circuit breaker. So on my electrical panel, I found the correct circuit breaker that we need to flip. We are gonna turn that off and now we will check that fixture again. So we'll check once again with our voltage detector. I am not getting any reading of any power. So we should be good. We're gonna remove our bulb and then there are two screws on here that are holding this porcelain fixture on here. We're gonna unscrew those to start pulling it down. So with the fixture out, you'll notice we've got two screws here holding our white wire and our black wire uh, to this fixture. We're going to loosen those screws and just remove those wires. Here is the porcelain lamp holder that I'm going to be replacing the other one with. Uh, I will put a link down below so you can get more information on it. So I've got my old fixture on the left here and my new fixture that's on the right. You'll notice the screw configurations are the same, so I'm going to just reattach the same wires to the same screws as on my old fixture. So that your wires make a good connection with your fixture, these are going underneath the screws. Uh, you wanna make sure that these wires have a hook shape to them. This one is a little bit straighter. I'm gonna wrap it a little bit more in a hook. So I made sure that my screws are tightened down good. I'm gonna tuck all this wiring back up into this box. And then I've got the two screws that were holding my fixture to the box. I'm gonna go ahead and screw those back in. So on this fixture, you'll notice that where the screws are going to hold the fixture in place, there's a wider area and then a skinnier area and that allows you to you know, start screwing these screws into the holes and when you've got them about halfway screwed in, you can get your fixture up there and insert it and then turn it so that the screws are now seated in the skinnier areas uh, of those holes and then finish tightening the screws. Screws are tightened, we got our light bulb back in. I think we're ready to go. Let's go turn our power back on at the circuit breaker and then we will test to make sure everything's working. So we're gonna go ahead and test our pull chain. Woo, that light is bright. All right, so everything seems to be working. Our install was very quick and simple. That's really all there is to it. Probably took me about 10 minutes to do this whole install. So if you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button. I've also got some other really cool uh, light installs as well as home improvement uh, videos on this channel and I'll leave links down below as well as at the end of this video. My name is Jeff. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I'll see you guys in the next video.